Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Look MRI, and this is a patient who is 48. She had really bad hip pain, wouldn't go away, and came in to get an MRI. As I listened to her history, it sounded like it could be more of a um, neurologic thing, pushing on a nerve in the lumbar spine that goes to the right hip, but she was really worried about some pathology in the hip because the pain was fairly localized there. She thought there could be some impingement, or arthritis, or something, and so the hip MRI looked really good. Um, she had some just minimal findings to the hip that didn't look like they would explain such severe pain. So we decided to do an MRI of the lumbar spine. In addition, just to make sure there was nothing going on there, and sure enough, her problem was in the lumbar spine, um, and that's what was causing the right hip pain. And this is a scan we're looking from the side of her lumbar spine. The lumbar spine goes from here up to here, and the thoracic spine is up here. And she has a couple disc herniations. One of them is right here, it's very small. This is between L1 and L2, and it's poking backwards. Here's the back, here's the front. So a small disc protrusion is poking into this white fluid, which is in the spinal canal. But this is very small and not causing any significant narrowing, but there's one down here that is the real problem. So there's another really small one here too, but uh, this is a uh, large central disc herniation right here in the middle. And you can see that there's fluid in the spinal canal but right here there's no fluid because the disc herniation fills the spinal canal and it's pinching the nerves and this is the main problem. If we roll off to the sides we see these openings called foramina are open so her problem is really just a central disc herniation but it just happens to cause the pain on the right hand side and just shows you that the distribution of nerves getting pinched doesn't always correlate that well with what's going on normally with a right hip you would expect a disc herniation at this level and we'd expect it in this right foramen, but this looks completely normal. So this is a little bit atypical to have a central disc herniation here causing the right pain. So it just shows how inexact a science this is. So this is a normal level. We're going right through a disc, the L2-3 disc, and you can see the disc here, and the back is kind of concave, and this white fluid is in the spinal canal. You see the spinal canal is pretty wide open, filled with white fluid. These are facet joints in the back, but you see wide open canal. Now we're going to go down to the abnormal level. We're starting just above it, and now we're going to go down, down, and now you see that disc herniation going right central into the spinal canal, causing a severe central stenosis. And the disc material is pushing all the nerves. They're getting pushed along the outside, and every nerve is getting compressed, it looks like, but just, she has symptoms on that right side only. So an unusual case where uh, central disc herniation is causing right hip pain, and that's it. Thank you so much.